Hello everybody, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Christmas uh, hair and makeup. The look that I've gone for is very simple. And you start with the primers, you always apply a primer. Then a highlighter to the entire eye. And then what I've done is I'm going to put some gold um, eyeshadow on the eyelids only. And don't forget to blend. Every time you apply um, eyeshadows, you have to blend it. So now the gold, uh, which is the MAC gold line. And what I've done is I've put generously on the eyelid and then uh, spread it right upon onto the brow bone, the whole of the entire of the eye very lightly to sort of create an ombre effect. I'm going to go for a very thick eyeliner because uh, the eye makeup, the eyeshadow, I'll cut it very simple. At the moment there's a trend of um, thick eyeliner with a, a very short flick at the end. Now don't forget to enhance the brows, very important, especially when you're taking photos. Now, the eyelashes. Eyelashes is a big trend in United Kingdom at the moment. I'm sure also in the United States, everybody's having eye, false eyelashes. Now, the under eye concealer. Obviously, before you do everything, before you apply your foundation and everything, you have to prep the skin, meaning you have to moisturize it, then apply a primer, and then. Uh, what I normally do is I do the under eye concealing first so that when I apply the foundation I can apply it all over as well on the under eye area so it looks flawless. Mm -hmm. Now if we're going to highlight uh, what I've done is I've used super color number 36 and um, blend it in. So what you do is you put it about the eyebrows and just about the cheekbone. It just highlights your eye. Now I'm going to contour the cheekbones so that they stand out. I'm not going to go mad with the contouring because then sometimes I feel it looks like a ghost. I don't know. Like a skull, probably. And don't forget the cheeks. I always put, put cream rouge on it so that when I put the powder uh, blusher, it really stays on. Because remember, you're going to go to a party. Christmas is where people are partying all the time. You're going to go to a parties and dance. And you want the makeup to stay. I'll put a bit of a bronzer just near the, the kind of the ear area. I'm going to blend it in with the same. Use the same foundation sponge to just blend it all in. Now the highlighter. And the lip line, what I've done is I've gone for a very dark red colour because the eye makeup is very subtle. So, whenever you go for light eye makeup, always make sure that you put dark lipsticks. Heavy eye makeup, light lipsticks. Sometimes it also depends on the how big or how small your lips are because makeup is really taking your inner beauty out, whatever you got, to enhance all the in all the features that you got that is what makeup is all about not just putting it on and now I'm gonna fit spray with the super color it just gives you a dewy look that's the finishing look now what I've done is I've already prepped the the hair with um, dry shampoo and kind of uh, back combed at the roots and then sectioned the hair from ear to ear at the back and on the side, we're doing it side parting because the side parting um, really suits this particular model. I'm going to curl all the hairs. What I also do is I also prep the hair with the um, mousse, so extra strong mousse. What I do is apply it, put it on, then uh, hair dry it. If you see some of my earlier tutorials, uh, I'll really go in in-depth details, especially the the one where I've done the GHD curls. It shows you how to prep the hair and everything so that you're not constantly spraying the hair. Once you apply the mousse and sort of um, dry it with some heat, the hair, the, the curls will hold. Obviously, you do do a final 
light spray. Now the other side, if you see the direction of the uh, curls are always, um, it is the opposite direction now. The other side is, is kind of away from the face on both sides. At the back, um, you do one clockwise, one anti-clockwise. It looks flawless. I'm going to comb all the hairs out to give that soft, um, the current look. It on all springed up curls. And you're done. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching. Any comments are welcome.